Hi everybody, it is Sunday, July 30th. It is almost August and I am going to be on here sharing with you the things that took place during the week. Uh, some declutter, some organization. It's all going to be mixed because I went back to work on Wednesday. So this is just going to be a combination of different things. I'm showing some things that I found in Goodwill. Uh, some things that I'm boxing up. Um, it's more of a vlog than a declutter this week, but I hope you enjoy so it. So this is Sunday, a week ago. I had to go to Lowe's to pick up some things for the lawn since we're doing our lawn. Uh, and we needed a weed whacker and a couple of other tools. So I went to go pick that up. And right next door to it is like a Goodwill. So I decided to hop on over there. So I never buy shoes at Goodwill, but look at these cute boots that I got. These are Echo. And they were fifteen dollars. So I have a little side zipper. Then I got these aerosols. They were seven fifty. They're almost brand new. Seven fifty. And then I got these like mules. They took out the inside sole, but look how nice they are. I don't know what brand it is, but they were seven fifty as well. Look how pretty these are, and they're so light. I want to say they're like nursing shoes pero they don't have a name in them so yeah everything is so expensive these days so when i can find them on a deal i'm gonna grab them but these echo boots are cute then i got some mixing bowls for these mixing bowls for 350 this is monday i went to go get my hair done and this is a salon and look at the little puppy that was right next to me this is rocky and he is the owner's little puppy and he was the cutest most sweetest little doggy so i loved having him keep me company as they did my hair this is now tuesday and it was my birthday so i spent the entire day with my son we went out uh, shopping we went get some coffee we went to go watch barbie it was a great day and a great birthday he got me this bunce cake which was so cute it was a purple flower and a little piñata it was the cutest thing ever so this is wednesday this is the first day back at school for me because it's a brand new school so for all the teachers and staff that are going to be at this school we starting we're starting a week early so it's a brand new school we were the first people to actually step into the school so in the morning like from 8 until 12 we were in the gymnasium uh the meet and greet stuff and then i was able to finally step into my classroom like a little walkway like a little hallway which is good um but this is it the desks are modular. I have these low desks and then I have these high tops. And look at all the windows. Thank God I have a window. Some people don't have windows. I don't have a walk-in closet though, which is a thumbs down. Here is just two bookshelves. I'm gonna put stuff there. And then I have these cabinets right here. I mean, the majority of my stuff is a lot of paper that I brought. So I'm gonna empty out the boxes. We got the U-Haul, we went, rented the U-Haul van. And we're gonna use that. So I have these two cabinets nice windows here is nice little view of the little plants outside the palm trees are growing so thank god again that i have windows some classes don't have windows teacher desk is right there you can't move it around so i don't know how that's gonna work but i won't be at my desk when i have kids anyway and if i do i'll just get one of these little desks here and be in the back i don't know why i have two smart boards i have those two bulletin boards and then two white boards um so yeah that's a lot of desk in here so hopefully they don't all fill up okay all of my boxes have been delivered well they weren't delivered we took them out of storage i rented a u-haul took them out of storage so that we can do it in one haul instead of coming instead of making multiple trips in my suv because we would have never finished this task so i just rented a u-haul and we put it all in there i was able to put my stools my podium i have a couple of tables my refrigerator my microwave all of that but as mentioned in the previous clip there is no like walk-in closet for me everything is outside so i have to find a way to put all this stuff away and whatever doesn't fit i'm giving it away i, I i'm not i'm not gonna have it out exposed so let's see how it is today is 
Today's Thursday already. Oh my God, where did we go? It's already Thursday and it's about, I don't know, one o'clock in the afternoon. So let's see how much I do today. This is Thursday and when I stepped out to go take the little pooch out for a walk, look at this beautiful rainbow right outside the door. It was just so beautiful. To me, it was just a sign that I am doing and I did the right thing by changing schools. Okay, it is Friday, almost three o'clock, and I am done for the day. I am tired. I went to bed tired last night. I woke up tired, but I'm almost done. I can't really set up the desk. I mean, who designs schools? Not educators, because the way they have the desk set up, I'm like put in a corner. So basically, I'm gonna be sitting over here in the corner with my back to the door. Like this desk should be here and I should be behind the desk so I can see what's in front of me. I mean, I'm not going to be sitting on my desk when the kids are here, but still like when I'm working, it's very uncomfortable to have my back to everything else. So it's just a poor setup. That's cabinet is filled already. Both of them. That's out here. That's out here. Um, I don't like that at the bottom, but I'm going to leave it there for right now just because I don't know where to put it. I'm, I'm, I don't feel like taking anything home right now. Um, so that's going to stay there. Those racks I use for my folders. Once I set it up, I will share that with you. Um, all of this needs a place. I'll find it later. This is donation, 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 donation. That's all empty. All empty. All empty. This is going to be for cell phones. All empty. So I've been, I did good. Um, I don't have any extra storage. So these are made for storage. So it's very weird why they didn't, look at this huge wall. Why didn't they put cabinets on top and cabinets at the bottom? I, I don't understand. Again, because educators do not design schools. I don't know who does, but it's not educators. So they gave us these rolling carts and I thought it was for, um, for technology, but it's not. So you fill them up and then you can turn it around and put it against the wall. And it's just on the other side. So it's like a shelf, but mobile. So yeah, so these are staying there because they fit perfectly and I can put student information there, like papers and stuff like that. This is gonna stay here because I have nowhere else to put it. It doesn't fit anywhere else. And I'll turn it around and then we won't be able to see it. I have to work on my bulletin boards. There's some border. Uh, I have a lot of wall. Look at the windows. I love all the natural lights. Um, and then I have all this canvas. So I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm done for today. So my plan was to go back on Sunday, I mean, not Sunday, but Saturday, but I decided not to because I had things that I needed to do here at the house. So I didn't even go shopping or anything because I, well, actually I went to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you after this clip a couple of things that I found at the Dollar Tree. Uh, but other than that, I didn't go shopping anywhere else because I had already spent a little bit too much money on things that I needed for the classroom. Um, I needed to get a new fan because it gets warm in there because all the windows and uh, a new pair of shoes just you know back to school stuff that requires me to spend a little bit of money so i did not go back i will be going back again on monday and again i will start again but let me show you what i found at the dollar tree real quick it's just a real quick call so there's only so there's only one store in my area that has the dollar tree plus so i went in because the school is like half a block from there but anyway they have halloween stuff out and again this is the only store in the area so i got this little snack holder that had different colors black like um iridescent i think but i got this silver one this was three dollars then i have they have a whole bunch of these little plants i paid three dollars for this as well but what i fell in love with is these stand-up signs this one i put a spell on you Stop in for a spell and then double double toil and trouble and they stand like that so I don't know where I'm gonna stand them but I love them so these were five dollars each I don't know if they're gonna bring more stuff they just had looks like they had just put this out so I don't know 
the beauty of it is like i said this is the only dollar tree that has this stuff in my area and it's just right down the block from where i work okay so it's saturday and here i am about to make sure that my storage unit is emptied out i just went to pick up the last items that i'm going to be giving to another teacher i do not need them and i needed to remove my lock but at the same time i also once i was done i walked around so i can share with you this unit i mean this this storage unit is huge and you can see everybody's belongings because of the chain link fences around the units it was a very strange unit but it's the only one that i that i could find and it was just a strange experience but i'm going to walk around so that you can see um that people store stuff and people store stuff differently um, everyone has different things that they're storing everyone has a story behind their storage so i find it very interesting to walk around and just to know that every single one of these units has their own particular story and it, it fascinates me so with that being said i will end this video with just the clips of the storage and i hope everyone has a great sunday and an even better week and i will share with you the things that i will be donating for this coming week but it's going to be a lot more because this will be the week that i have to really finish with the classroom and get everything done so again thank you so much for your support and your positivity and for keeping me in your prayers as always and with that being said i'll end the video and i hope you guys have a great week and we'll definitely chit chat on the next one we'll talk to you guys later bye That's about to be rented out. Um, that's about to be rented out. That's about to be rented out.